870 crank estimate. I, I told him, I told him the combination to go with. Yeah. That I think he'll like, but yeah, that thing is, I don't know if I can live with that. <laughs> That's pretty loud. That front end is so good looking. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we go. We're in a familiar place guys we are in town hanging out with our friends here at horsepower factory and ken speed addict 731 now we got to pay attention to is this car over here this belongs to toby he's a subscriber to the channel and he actually bought a supercharger off of me this is the same odin that came off of my red mustang when i had it anyway he was looking for boost when i was parting a car out before we made our jump to uh, the dark side. Anyway, he paid for, uh, he bought that, and he also got the uh, the trunk ice tank, and he's got it installed. Ken at HBR has installed it, and has done a, an incredible job. So now we're here on the dyno, and we're gonna actually see what this thing makes on 93 pump gas on the 88 millimeter pulley on a Gen 2 Mustang, guys. Here we go. Let's have some fun. Yeah, this is kind of really cool for me because. I don't have that Mustang anymore and I don't have the blower anymore, but, but it's kind of cool to see the blower to go to a good home. And then now we get to see it make some power and uh, I'm, I'm really excited and hopefully we'll see, you know, North of 700 horsepower uh, on 93 pump gas on his car. I think that he will be absolutely thrilled. His is an MT82 car, so he gets to row his own gears. He's gonna have a lot of fun. And uh, again, yeah, I'm just really thrilled to see, you know, it uh, on, on, you know a good guy's car he's prior military uh like myself but um you know cool to see it kind of local and uh to see somebody else have fun with it odin supercharger vmp let's go let's see what it makes did you make any power yet it's done gonna make about 350 yeah, i like this red though no i i, I think the the front bumper though is a highlight i5 auto house you said Auto Haas. Auto Haas. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, look at the fitment, guys. GT500 style front end looks really good. We got ice over here, so we're going to cool it down, see if we can get the best bull possible. But um, this guy right here, Daryl Wingard, is who you all want. Trust me on this to tune your vehicles. You can find his information in the uh, video description and the links below. <laughs> Just for you. All right, guys, let me climb up here. I'm going to show you how this is set up a little bit different than the way that we ran as far as, like, ice tank and uh, the cooling um, on this this setup. Now, let me spin the camera because it's a little bit different, a little bit interesting. I think that he's going to actually experience maybe better IET. We're about to see and confirm in just a second when uh, we get started here. And then how well it does on the street, you know, I'm going to keep in touch. And then because I'm interested I'm generally interested how this is gonna like perform overall, but let me show you this. Again, this is my old setup here, VMP Odin Stage 3 163R Monoblade, and it has the ice tank, the same one that I was using the PNR. And then uh, Ken was able to relocate the um, the Stewart EMP pump down in that back corner a little bit further down, so we sh there, there should be no cavitation issues uh, out of this setup. You know, we'll cross our fingers, but anyway, Moving forward, where Ken's got the, the route of the feed to come up and hit the intercooler bricks first. So from the tank to the blower, and then from blower to the heat exchanger, and then the return back to the tank. So maybe not the most ideal street setup, but I don't know. We'll see. 
Hi guys, so we're on a Mustang Dyno. Every time we've come here, it's been very close to like a Dyno jet from what we've seen. So she flame. Pull one. What do you think? You want a 700? Yeah, oh yeah, that's it. That's nasty, bro. Yeah, so. It's been about a degree, degree and a half a knot, uh, so it's an octane problem. Just pump gas, guys. So that might be it, but Daryl's gonna uh, clean up the tune a little bit. Sorry for my voice. He's gonna clean up the tune a little bit. Should get a second hit, put a little bit more ice in there, but. 706 is what we saw. I guess 715, better octane. I'm sure we would have seen it, but I don't know. Let's see what round two gives us. What the second pull will do. I right, got second, second hit. I got to stand back a little bit. It's loud. Oh, knock, yeah, 588. So, 480 torque. It's fuel. If we had like a bottle like a uh, boost in or something, it would fix it, but. I mean, it pulled a degree and a half or so earlier. It's seven or six. So, with no knock, it would have been, I don't know, another 10, 20 horsepower, could be. No, but it's a healthy car though. But he, he let out that last one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of times when these start pulling from the start, yeah. They don't fully recover. They should let out and get back in. Right. So a degree and a half, if it didn't have that, what do you think the numbers would have been? I would guess 718 to 720. Wow. Ah, 718 to 720. There you go. So I think it's, I think it's solid. Absolutely. Yeah. See, Gen think... 2, VMP Odin, stage 3 kit with that oh. throttle body. All right, guys. We're going to do a third hit. I am? Yeah. Oh, where are you 714? 16. He's the closest one. He's the closest one, yeah. He's the closest one. So you owe him 9000 dollars I do you do. <laughs> this thing is evil, dude. Was happy that, time. <laughs> that is impressive. Well, I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. 729. Dude. That, is that the highest urgent you've seen on a Gen 2? Yeah. That's nuts. He's got he that's it right there. That's awesome, bro. Eight seventy crank estimate. Wow, that's crazy, dude. Look how much flatter the curb is there. Yeah, when he rolled in it, and then it just it's flat. Did any knock that time? So you just any knock? No. No. Because no, he rolled into it. He rolled into it. So right. he, he prevented these? it from getting in, getting there. See what? Look how flat it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I put my foot to the floor. But I like rolled into it, rolled it, and I. That's yeah. freaking awesome. Seven twenty nine, bro. That's 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 really <laughs> impressive. Yeah. Especially that's. Go ahead and say it. On oh, a fucking Mustang Dino. Uh, Mustang Dino. The Mustang Dino is Rob horsepower. Power, they say. Yeah. <laughs> they we could have had seven fifty. Shit. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> that's freaking so awesome. Oh, uh, what do you think? That's that's impressive. Wow. I don't think I've heard of another like Gen two with an Odin making that much. That's crazy. I mean, man. So this was my old setup, like we said in the beginning. So very excited to see 
um, you know, Toby over here with the my old setup with his new setup. And I'm glad to see it make power. So everything is good to go. Solid build. Good job to Ken. Speed Addict 731. Check him out on YouTube. Or if you are in the area, I will link all down below. Uh, go check out his shop. And, you know, he builds stuff like this for a living. Ken does at HPR. So Hilliard Performance Racing. Check him out on Facebook and the internet and everything else. I'll link it all. But 729. Hey, I want, I want to buy another Mustang. <laughs> I think we made a mistake. Well, work paid off. We made a mistake, Ken. What? We gotta buy another Ford. No, we're gonna chase power in mine too, but uh, eventually we'll do another Mustang. I've already said that multiple times. But guys, like I said, I'm gonna wrap up my video because I'm about done with my voice. Um, I'm super excited again to see uh, this set up on a really cool car like this and to get to see it in person, you know, kind of um, unfinished business, you know, it's, it's really cool. Uh, t t I don't know, man. I think it just kind of hits me in the heart a little bit. And to see it make big power like that is really impressive, too. So, um, yeah, Toby, when you see this, man, shout out to you, bro. Congratulations. And I hope you enjoy it. Stay safe above all driving this monster. So, oh, man. You need to buy another Mustang. <laughs> Comment down below. Oh, my gosh. Where do we go from here? I'm just kidding. Nah, it's impressive though, nonetheless. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. God bless. See ya. <laughs> Daryl is the genius behind all the tunes. Really so. I don't care. I don't care how good you are putting a car together. If you don't have a good tuner, it ain't going. Yeah. Nowhere. So yeah, Daryl Winger. Links down in my descriptions. Even though we don't have a Mustang anymore right now, his links will always still be there because this is your guy. You build them, he tunes them, and then you got the dyno. It's uh, it's kind of a one-stop shop around here. But all right, guys. So happy to see, happy to see the blower go to a good gentleman here. I appreciate his, his military service. Happy to see somebody else enjoying him. So that's the video. And uh, next up, we have some stuff to do with this. We got some goodies in the back here, and we're going to be adding some power, some sounds, and uh, stay tuned. So God bless you all. See you guys later. Bye.